Hi guys, this is Miss Truly Blessed 88 coming to you again. And first of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers, everyone who has commented and rated my videos and just left me nice feedback for my videos. It's really motivating me to keep doing these videos. And I want to apologize for not, you know, making any videos recently. I I'm start I just started my fourth year back at school. I'm actually in my new apartment. If I'm I'll do a little tour around my room, but the apartment's bigger, of course, but this is my room. I'll show you guys. So, here's the section with all my hair products. And then, my bed. The little bedspread. And, of course, you have to represent Michael Jackson. <laughs> no other way. My little closet. Cool. Little butterflies. Calendar. A little office section, a little lamp, everything is here. So yeah, anyway, I just want to thank you guys again for showing me, you know, just giving me support. And um, I just really appreciate it. And if you guys ever need any, like, tips or anything or anything in, in particular that you guys want me to do, just let me know and I will definitely do it. Thank you so much. Okay, so remember how I said I was going to do my kinky curly tutorial? That was like a month and a half ago. So I'm finally going to do it. Um, my hair has been pressed for the last maybe week and a half, and it's time to wash it. So I'm just going to go curly for maybe the next couple weeks. So I'm going to wash my hair with VL5 Moisture Milks Moisturizing Shampoo. It's pretty good. It's just an ordinary shampoo. Nothing special, but... It's good to get all the oils out and everything. Um, when you're using the kinky, kinky curly line, you'll notice that if you have any residue of anything, like any oil, grease, just anything in your hair, the product is not going to work at all. It's going to leave this, it's like a flaky residue, goopy, it's not cute, but just, you know, make sure you shampoo well and don't use any other product except for the kinky curly line when you're trying to do the kinky curly stuff. So I'm using the kinky curly knot today and you can see that it's already empty. I only got the 8 ounce for, at first because it's a little pricey so I wanted to try it out before I got the bigger size. So I will be ordering that soon. But the kinky curly knot today conditioner is amazing. Like even if I don't wear my hair curly, I still use this conditioner even to straighten my hair. My hair really loves this, loves this stuff so I really recommend it. And also after I shampoo and condition my hair, while it's still wet, I'll apply the Kiki Curly cu Curling Custard. And this is a really great, great gel. It's, it's like a gel-like substance, but it's not actually gel. It's weird, but, you know, just try it out and see if you like it. After this tutorial, I'll show you how it works on my type of hair, which is... <sighs> my hair type is 4A, 4B. It's a mixture. Mostly 4A, though. But, anyway... Yeah, so when I come back, I'll have wet hair, uh, fully washed, washed and conditioned, and I'll show you guys how I apply the Kiki Curly Custard. Okay, stay tuned. Bye. Hi guys, this is Miss Truly Blessed 88, and um, I just finished washing my hair with the VO5 shampoo and the Kinky Curly Not Today conditioner, and I left that in my hair, so that's what's in my hair right now. It's soaking wet. And um, now I'm going to show you guys how I use the Kinky Curly Custard. And basically what you'll need, oh, and I just want to apologize for the poor lighting. I'm trying to figure out a way how I can like lighten this room up without this yellow tint. But anyway, it'll work for now. Um, the Kinky Curly Custard, a spray bottle with water in it, a scrunchie or, or a rubber band or something to hold your hair up, a couple of little banana clips. Just a couple, it doesn't matter. And then your Denman brush. And our, yeah, I already said this. The white tooth comb if I didn't, <laughs> but the Denman brush. Okay, so to get started, what I wanna do is first, take your white tooth comb. Actually, just take your fingers. Take your fingers and separate this section and then separate a section out and then put the rest at the top of your head okay, 
Okay? So now you have a pretty small section and you just want to spray it. Make sure that whenever you're using the kinky curly custard that your hair is soaking wet. Like soaking, soaking wet. Okay, that's enough. And then what you want to do to separate it even more is just separate it, separate it down the middle. And then you have this section right here. This piece right here. So, you open it up. And it looks like this. It's kind of slimy. But it's cool because it doesn't dry out your hair. Even though it dries on your hair, it doesn't dry it out. So, you just take a little bit. It was just like a little fingertip of it. And then get the roots and your ends. Now, I watched a lot of videos on tutorials of using the kinky, kinky curly custard. And for a lot of people, they realize that if they use too much, their hair kind of looks like they have a jerry curl after it dries. But I noticed that the more that I use, the better my hair looks. Like. Not the better, but just the more controlled it looks. And I like a controlled look more so than a, like a free-flowing, uh, natural, curly, fluffy look. But anyway, you just take your Denman brush and you comb through, detangle it. And also, uh, just a quick tip, in the shower, I used... Where is my comb? <laughs> Okay, anyway, that's weird. What did I do with my comb? Loser, okay, so I just used my white tooth comb and I detangled it in the shower when I put the conditioner in. So while the conditioner was in it, I used running water and I just combed it through um, with the white tooth comb. So you just do that again, you just take a little bit. And always start off with a little bit and you can always add on later on. If you see that you don't have enough product, just add on later on. But this stuff is pretty expensive. This, I don't have the exact price, but I think I spent about $60 on her website. But anyway, just comb it out like you would regularly do from ends to roots. And it looks like that. And just make sure that you avoid touching and messing with your hair while it's wet. Just minimize how much you manipulate with your hair. So now I have this section right here. So that's how you want it to look if you have my kind of hair. Uh, it varies depending on what kind of hair you have, what texture. So just do the same thing again. Figure it out. See, my hair is already drying, and I just got out the shower, but spray it with your spray bottle. Okay. Fingertip. Smush together. And then rub on your roots all the way down. Okay, a little more. I've been doing this so much, I like ran out of product, but I love this product, it's great. It's amazing. And make sure you get all the way to the top, smooth it out, and it comes out like this. So I'm going to keep doing this, and when I get to the top of my head, I'll, you know, come back to show you guys the ending result, ending result, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's dry. Okay? See you. Bye.